英語聞き流し10分間名作リスニング英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロードその他の物語はホームページよりご利用いただけます 88thpp.com 88thpp.com My backstage work before the play in a drama club at junior high. The drama club to which I belonged when I was a junior high school student had two school plays a year, for the homecoming entertainment and for the welcoming new students party. The casting would be done by a seniority system. A handful of senior members appeared on the stage and other members worked backstage. New members usually started from the stage prop staff, then were promoted to the scene shifter, the spotlighting, the curtain drawer slash prompter, the stage lighting, and finally, the cast member. My fellow five newcomers had quit within a year because they couldn't take this slow promotion toward cast members, and I was the only one left among those who joined that year. Since there were so many members who were one year my senior, it seemed the day I would be cast in a play would never come in this seniority system. But once I begin something, I don't quit easily. When the twice a year school play came near, I would work eagerly backstage while seeing some senior cast members whose acting was much worse than mine rehearse on the stage. I started as the stage prop staff. The first play I took part in was a Japanese drama. Some cast members had trouble putting Japanese sandals very quickly when they stormed out of the room in one scene and complained to us. From then on I had stretched their sandals carefully before the scene for the cast members to put them on quickly. As the spotlighting, I learned to move a spotlight just as the cast member moved on stage and to keep the light above her chest all the time. Every once in a while in rehearsal, I made a mistake to follow the cast's quick movement and my light missed the position slightly. In that case, the play would come to an instant halt and everyone turned to me. I would stand straight beside the spotlight and yell I'm so sorry. To the whole production. Dreaming of standing on stage someday. I resigned myself to working for drearily trivial things so hard in the total shadow of the glittering stage glamour. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. The nearest supermarket to my apartment puts half-off stickers to the prepared foods that are left unsold at 7.30 p.m. and sometimes, they put 75% off stickers to the ones that are still unsold after the half-off at 8.30 p.m. but it all depends on the unsold amount, and the 75% off sale is rarely fulfilled. When it is, though, the supermarket turns into heaven to me. It's a risky challenge worth a bet. I decided to go for it today and convinced myself that the main purpose was not to get the 75% off foods but to take a walk. This is my fail-safe mindset to protect myself from a bitter disappointment in case nothing is left at the store. I went there, and lost the bet. Their shelf for prepared foods was completely empty. I kept saying to myself that I came here to take a walk, not to shop. But I had to buy some other mildly discounted items to console myself. I couldn't shake off the frustration in any way. My fail-safe plan didn't work for my greed. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. about the higher backstage work in the drama club at junior high. When my role in a drama club at junior high was still lower backstage work, I was assigned to give the cast members a cue on one school play. I needed to cue them in the dressing room when the show before us was about to end. I counted down from 40 minutes before the cue to make their preparation easier by watching the show in the wings. The stage was far from the dressing room and I had to go back and forth between them to tell them the time left. 
On that play, the heroine put on makeup and got dressed so slowly, and I felt sure our play couldn't start on time. I rushed her while reporting the progress of the show before us by running laps between the stage and the dressing room. But as I had thought, she couldn't make it. The previous show had ended, the audience was waiting, and she remained wigless. Those who helped her dress got hysterical and began to take it out on me who kept on cueing. Back in the wings, the teacher in charge of the school event stormed at me. We had to start without her and I asked other cast members to prolong the opening scene by improvising. They got panicky and complained to me. Eventually, everyone yelled at me who was just a cute person. While they were desperately improvising the play, I took her from the dressing room plowing through the people on the crowded hallway for her. Then I had gradually promoted to the higher backstage work play by play. As the curtain drawer, I needed to learn how to draw the heavy main curtain smoothly. If it opened or closed in several separate movements according to my tugging, I would get reproved. The curtain was used frequently to shift scenes and drawing it seamlessly was such a tough job. As a prompter, I was pointed out that my prompts were too loud. Then as the stage lighting, I needed to get the knack to create a blackout on the stage by turning numerous switches off in one quick sweep by my hands. The switches were too many and big, so I had to hold my breath and put my whole weight on my stretched hands to slide them all. All those years, I didn't quit because I really wanted to be cast and play on the stage someday. It must have been a strong aspiration as I spent a good three years just training and working backstage. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. My mother turns to a fortune teller when it comes to a big decision. Every big decision that has fundamentally influenced her life was made by a fortune teller, including her marriage. When my parents named their children, they of course had a fortune teller choose ones. So, I was named by a total stranger. My parents had their each pick for my name when they visited the fortune teller and they also had a few other names as spares just in case. The fortune teller picked he to me out of the spares, which was neither of their picks. Most Japanese names are written in Chinese characters. Each of the characters has its inherent meaning. My name is composed of two characters. The character for Hyde means excellent, and the one for me means beautiful. In Japan, we are often asked the corresponding characters to the name when we give out our names. I always explain he to me as an excellent and beautiful. And the person who hears it almost always gives me a wry smile. I know how they feel. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Hachi Hachi T H P P dot com